Hello there my fellow holotable heroes and welcome to another journey guide video. So in this one I'll be playing through tier 4 of the Leviathan event trying to get this unlocked. Now we will not cover first 3 tiers because most likely you will have seen they were very very easy and straightforward. I didn't really know what I was doing just mashing some buttons so it's not really all that difficult. So then you play through those first 3 tiers and you're like oh man good CG, good CG, they didn't repeat the profundity or Grand Inquisitor uh, event type of difficulty and RNG fest and then suddenly you hit a wall at tier 4 so hopefully this video will help you a little bit out just showing you uh, what lineup and what turn order and abilities I was using here uh, to hopefully unlock this uh, we'll run it a few times just to get different RNG and hopefully this will help you out along the way so let's go ahead and hop in the battle uh, so the starting lineup, you will want to have Fury Class, uh, then Tide Dagger, Seed Bomber, and the other guys as the reinforcement. Not sure why they're forcing us to use Ebon Hawk, because it doesn't really do a whole lot, but anyways, we'll have to deal with it. Alright, let's hop in a battle. Alright, so let's see how this one will go. Alright, of course, they're faster out. How is Houndstooth going first? Houndstooth is like the slowest ship in the game. I don't understand why they keep doing it. But anyway, let's focus on the solution, not the problem. Let's put our energy in there. So they've got tenacity up, so no point of doing AoE here. Uh, we'll just save it for later. And to begin with, you want to use the first special. Well, the only special you can use right now. The other one, it unlocks once you get 15 debuffs applied. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, put breach immunity. Make sure to target Seed Bomber with this ability to get breach immunity on it. I'm just going to do basic, everybody still got tenacity up, same thing, just basics here. And this ability here, we can now go ahead and heal up the team. There we go, perfect, we got some health and protection back on everybody. Hopefully our Seed Bomber can hang in here. And finally, they drop tenacity up, so we can go ahead and unload the AoE here. Hopefully landing some debuffs, perfect. As the first reinforcement, I will bring in Scimitar. Not so much for its reinforcement ability, but the fact that you can actually with its special ability uh, put a protection up over on your Seed Bomber. Here comes their mass uh, attack, survived it without any issues. Let's do an AoE now, hopefully land some concussion mines, perfect. Uh, so far so good. Okay, getting some counter attacks. Alright. Well, we're stuck behind the taunt, so we'll just use this special here again. We'll be applying more debuffs. Remember, we have to apply 15 debuffs in total uh, that we can use our second special. There we go. We'll just keep going. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Hanging in there. Okay. Uh, stuck behind the taunt. The bar defuse like forever. Uh, now we didn't land 15 debuffs yet, so all I can do here is this basic ability, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and heal up the team again. And they got a contract. Now let's do another AoE now. Okay. Yeah. Come on guys, oh, they've got another reinforcement. Okay, they're bringing shuttle, that's okay. I'll just keep, hounds, keep hitting hounds if I don't want to feed Terminator to anybody else. Now for the second reinforcement you're gonna have to bring in Mark 6 Interceptor which will basically give you an insta-killer right out of the gate. Uh, you can ignore the taunts, you can even target whoever is in stealth. Heck, you can even target the capital ship and insta-kill it. But I don't want to do that because if I do then I won't be able to uh, take control of it and use it to our advantage. So for my testing the best thing is to just take down IG a big damage dealer and also constantly healing up a very durable so it'd be hard to take down and now we can go ahead and uh, start going after I guess uh, Houndstooth because Xanadu blood is in stealth we lost our tank but hopefully we can still hang in there okay oh, there's a basic ability here uh, hang in there guys help is on the way okay, all right Okay, good. So now we get to use the second ability here. So as you can see, target ally will also recover health. So what I'm going to do here is actually heal up our Fury Interceptor. I do an AoE now. There we go. Okay, as you can see, after using second special, they got this blue 
status effect which means whenever they bring in their next reinforcement it will get destroyed I'm going to go here uh, middle specially just to get more stacks uh, let's call fury class for an assist okay that's fine and let's go ahead put everybody else in stealth and expose tie dagger there we go it's least useful ship at this point so they can take it out if they do want it there we go we're into our ultimate so let's just go ahead pop it and now we got control over the enemy capital ship so we can do what we please with it they won't be able to use it uh, so what I'm going to do actually here is uh, heal up my uh, dagger because it's out in the open uh, let's see if we can start going after uh, Xanatu blood now there we go keep counterattacking good 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 uh, let's call a uh, fury class for an assist um, do you know what? let's just go ahead finish off Xanadu, there we go, perfect okay, uh, they have to deal with the taunt, so let's go ahead put protection up on Tide Dagger just gonna use it as a force taunt on him now I can go ahead and bring in our Sith Fighter there we go, just keep doing that I guess and eventually we should be able hopefully to get <laughs> through Hound so we'll have to wait and see uh, sure, do an AoE, why not Oh, yeah, perfect. Slowly making progress. Here we go with another AoE. Okay, slow but steady is the name of the game. Just gonna do the basic ability here. Nice, now we got shock on it, so they won't be able to get protection up. Let's go ahead and heal up the team. Uh, do an AoE. Unfortunately, we don't get assists here because we don't have any bounty hunter ships on our end, but at least it was an AoE. There we go, Houndstooth is down for the count. Let's go after Razor Crest next. Uh, we'll just keep going. Unfortunately, no auto button because at this point uh, we could have hit auto, but Shock here will help us anyway, uh, preventing from these guys to heal up. Come on, there we go. And just do a basic. That was a big hit actually, because Tide Dagger, I believe, it does have stacking uh, uh, the critical damage on its basic. Just down to Pulp Mobile, and that should take care of Pulp as well. And there we go. That for me completed now tier four, uh, and I'm, I will be able to unlock a Leviathan from here on out. But let's go ahead and try and do this uh, just a couple of more times, just to see different RNG that we get. So same same teams here. We're just gonna put these guys together, and let's hop in a battle. And let's see how this one will go like for my testing it doesn't work every single time i needed a bit i think a bit like um, i don't know one out of three i was able to win so hopefully you will not be spending too much time on it i was trying different lineups different strategy and this one it's scimitar as the first enforcement because of protection up seemed to work best but anyway let's see how this one will go there's a little bit of rng with these assists and everything so i'm just going to basics now let's go ahead and get breach immunity over our over our seed bomber there we go i'm gonna basic again basic and let's go ahead and heal up the team with the middle special from fury interceptor okay there we go all right so now we can do an aoe they don't have tenacity up anymore land some debuffs on them perfect gonna bring in scimitar and i can go ahead now and put uh, protection up uh, over there okay so this time uh, they started with a heal instead of a mass assist that's an odd choice let's see how things will turn out in this particular battle all right okay there we go i'm getting some nice counter attacks it's not that we're doing any damage um do you know what let's actually put a few hits on razor crest sure why not there we go got healing immunity on it i <laughs> still didn't like that uh, so I'm now stuck behind the taunt again. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna lose a seed, my seed bomber any moment now. Okay. Just hang in there, buddy. Uh, okay, so looks like in this particular case I landed enough debuffs. So I can go ahead and use um, sabotaging again. Uh, oh yeah, there's a heal as well, so let's go ahead and heal up our seed bomber. Uh, let's spam an AoE while we have healing immunity over on Razor Crest. Uh, let's heal up the team again. Okay, so far so good guys. But now Mass Assist is coming from their end because they didn't use it in the beginning. Uh, there we go, I lost uh, Seed Bomber there. Let's see if we can still turn things around. 
Same thing, uh, Mark 6 Interceptor as the second reinforcement. I'm just gonna take out uh, IG here, finish it off, perfect. Um, I guess let's see if we can burn through Razor Crest while it's exposed. Uh oh, I'm losing ships now. All right, hang in there, guys. Hang in there. Mm, all right, let's take uh, control of their ship. All right, yeah, that's a pretty good animation, to be honest. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, all right, um, no point of healing. Mm. If I do AoE, they will lose fear and get a turn, so maybe I'll just do basic at this point. There we go. Uh, get some assists. Man, they're really going hard for Mark VI Interceptor. I mean, <laughs> can't blame them, right? <laughs> it's got an insta kill. Uh, so let's call Tide Dagger, I guess, for an assist. Uh, let's bring another reinforcement. Uh, yeah, let's bring in Seath Fighter, why not? Um, let's actually go after um, here. It's an blood. There we go. Uh, sure, smack an AoE, why not? Uh, another AoE coming in, more debuffs, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead, heal up the team. Yeah, definitely we got Scimitar in here. Uh, it's a little bit trickier, I think, but let's see if we can still pull out a win here. Okay, um, do you know what? Let's just go ahead and finish off uh, here a Razor Crest. Uh, do we need to heal up? No, let's just smack them with an AoE there, doing literally no damage. Uh, got their razor press down. We just have to not wait for Houndstooth to come out of hiding so we can go ahead and finish it off. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and bring in our Polar Enforcement again. Ebon Hawk is just such a random choice here. I'm not sure what they were trying to do. Uh, I guess for the chaff that you start stop target logs, but doesn't really do a whole lot to be honest. There we go. Keep going. Come yeah, on, Houndstooth, just give up. It's no point of fighting us. I'm just gonna basic feed some turn meter to the team. Heal it up, heal up everybody. How oh, was a timely dodge, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna basic. Everybody's at full health and protection at this point. Okay, it doesn't look like I'll come to another insta kill because they keep going after the Mark VI interceptors. So. But anyway, gather in the end. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off their Xanadu as well. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, one more hit. Finally, there we go. Uh, what? You do not have Galactic? What? Alright, so let's try this again. Uh, again, same starting lineup, same reinforcements, and let's see what's going to happen in this uh, battle right here. Different RNG, let's see. If we can continue our win streak here of two in a row, um, I lost the uh, first two battles, then won the third one, won the fourth one. Uh, so let's see how this one will go. Okay, all right, I'm getting a few hits, getting a stun. All right, so again, I'm just gonna start off with a basic attack. Let's go ahead and get breach immunity on our bomber. Just basics to begin with until they drop uh, tenacity up. Gonna heal up the team with the middle special. Okay, there we go. Let's see, will they start off with the mass assist right here? Or will they do the heal first? Now, no more tenacity up. Can go ahead and smack an AoE here. Uh, not too many debuffs there. Gonna go ahead and bring in Scimitar. Uh, let's go ahead and put a protection up or a seed bomber. So, okay, so this time they are starting with a mass assist. Oh boy, not looking too good, guys. Looks like it's gonna be a loss, but it's gonna be a close one. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, I'm just gonna basic here. I think I misplayed it there with an AoE um, from Tidegger. Okay, I'm gonna do an AoE now. Alright. Uh, basic over here. Come on, you've got this. Come on. Tell me you've got middle special ready here for me. There we go, perfect. So I think the middle special gives you 10 stacks. Okay, uh, we'll just keep going. There we go. Uh -oh. Are we actually going to pull this one off? No, surely not. <laughs> All right, uh, looks like Mark 6 Interceptor carrying this one. Uh, I'm just going to basic. <laughs> oh boy, come on. You've got this, buddy. Uh, basic here. Come on. Oh boy, it's getting close now. There we go. Come on. Into the red. Uh, just basic, because he won't do anything. Two for Interceptor. Alright, fine, give me an AoE. Maybe that was a misplay, I'm not sure. Because yeah, I think the middle special one actually gives you more stacks, but anyway. There we go, got through a Mark 6 Interceptor for the win. Okay, so let's do it again. I'm gonna bring in these guys and uh, let's do it and see how this one will go in terms of RNG. This last attempt that you've seen, it came down to the wire. They were just simply unable to put down Mark 6 Interceptor and we slowly ground them down to a halt uh, eventually. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Yep, getting a few hits as always. Okay. Okay, double taps there for my G. There's gonna basic attack over here. Let's go ahead and uh, land breach immunity on our fury uh, on our seed bomber. I'm just gonna basic here. Another basic attack here, and let's go ahead and heal up the team. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some concussion mines out there. Perfect. Gonna do an AoE, maybe land more debuffs. Okay, we got quite a few there actually. So same thing, bring in Scimitar. Uh, let's go ahead and put protection up on our seed bomber. They start off uh, with an AoE there. Oh, come on. All right. There we go. Finally, the enemy has won. Finally. Oh, let's do one more battle. I don't want, do not want to end up uh, on a losing note. Uh, let's see if we can turn the things around to finish off the video on a positive note. Hopefully, I won't be here for another hour trying to win, right? <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. We've got this. Just like we practice. Come on. All right. Okay, they get a few hits on us. That's fine. We gotta watch out for that big hit from IG, right? That was really, really deadly. Basic. And uh, let's go ahead and breach immunity on the seed bomber. All right. Uh, basic over here. Basic over there. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up the team. So far, hanging in there. They've got a stun. Okay, uh, now we can go ahead and do an AoE. Give me some debuffs. Come on, there we go. Let's go ahead and bring in Scimitar and put protection up over on our Seed Bomber. Okay, there's the heal this time. So this is probably like a perfect RNG run here. Um, so I don't think I even need to complete this battle. I mean, we've got basically full fleet on the on the here field and they're totally wrecked. So let's go back out. All right, uh, let's just try this again because I do want to end on a positive note, but not on a perfect RNG positive note, just more like, you know, on a average RNG sort of battle where, you know, things don't go completely your way, but also not totally against you. 
So let's see if uh, we can finish off with a, an average win, I guess, not with a perfect one. Yeah, that's fine. They keep going after the tank. That's what the bomber is there for. Gonna do a basic attack here. Get a breach immunity over on our bomber. I'm doing a basic, basic. I'm gonna heal up the team with a special from Fury Interceptor. Then they get a few hits in. All right, uh, now we can go ahead and do an AoE. Hopefully land some demons. Uh, just one, that's all what you got for me. Uh, that's not a promising start. But anyway, let's bring it in Scimitar. Uh, get protection up over our bomber. There we go, going with a mass assist. That's what you wanna see. There we go. Well, how about I smack you with an AoE? There we go. Uh, all right. As I said, let's try and end this on a positive note if I can, please. I don't want to be here for another two hours trying to record this. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. You can do this, guys. All right. Okay, they start off. Preloaded Termiter or just pure speed, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Alright, basic uh, bridge immunity over here. Good, good, good. I'm gonna do a basic attack over here. Basic. Heal up the team and then we brace ourselves for another round of pounding. Alright, okay. Alright, now we can do an AoE. Land some debuffs, please. I've uh, got three debuffs, I'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Scimitar now and pop that protection up over on our uh, Sea Bomber. Here comes the Mass Assist. We're still good. Give me some debuffs. Basic and just a case of finishing off Lone Razor Crest, which should obviously not be a problem at all. Sure, Smack and Amy doing 1500 in critical damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. That finished as well. I lost the count, uh, to be honest. How many battles I won? Was it five out of eight, nine, something like that? So, as you can see, it's a bit of an RNG. I think the biggest uh, thing here uh, with this always is. Do you land enough debuffs to get that other special out early enough? If those debuffs are getting resisted too much, then you might struggle uh, there to win. And also there's a bit of RNG there with assists and everything, but hopefully at least uh, this starting lineup that I showed you and then a scimitar as the first reinforcement, adding protection up uh, to your seed bomber, just a little bit extending the survivability of your team. So you do give yourself a very, very good chance, uh, obviously to pull out with a win. Okay, so I unlocked and the maxed out the abilities that I could on my Leviathan. So let's try this bonus tier and see is it difficult or not. I guess we want to try out uh, the same starting lineup. Then for enforcement, not sure. We definitely want Mark Interceptor. I'll try Scimitar because that worked well in tier 4. Hopefully the bonus tier isn't as tough as uh, tier 4 wars because uh, yeah, I mean, the first three tiers were kind of straightforward, that's why I didn't show them. Then tier 4 was kind of like profundity unlock event, right? But even the profundity bonus tier was a little bit annoying. So let's see how this one will go. Let's see if we can uh, auto it just for the funsies. And it's very easy, very straightforward, to be honest. So there we go. Hey, I'm not being very clever though there with Mark VI Interceptor. If that's how they will play it on defense, it comes a reinforcement instead of just using basic and doing the insta kill, it uses a special ability. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, that's all for now guys. Hopefully this video was useful and helpful uh, completing tier 4 of the unlock event for Leviathan because all the other tiers as, as well as bonus tiers are pretty straightforward. 
over the coming weeks i will be testing out the leviathan in action obviously uh, on offense and then as well trying to see how we can counter it on defense so be on the lookout for those videos in the next couple of weeks until then guys have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends